What's up, guys? I know I've been out a few weeks, but I mean, had some stuff going on, and really, like, if we if we were to lose, which we did lose, that Packer game, our season's pretty much done. You know, I don't, I, I didn't see us winning the division. Um, if we couldn't get a positive record to begin with. Now, the possibility of us winning is still out there. But let's be real. Do we want to go to the playoffs? Because I know as a fan, I don't want the Eagles to go. I, I want to focus on the offseason moves, what we can do for this team. Because, honestly, like... As good as Jaden Nurse has been playing, you know, and how everybody wants him to be the starter, he's still running for dear life. There's still playmakers that are missing from this team. Okay, like we we if we even if we get in and we win the NFC East, do you see us going anywhere? Honestly, do you see us going and winning the Super Bowl? Cause I sure as hell don't. You know, it shows you in that Cardinal game. You know, Jaden Hurts, NFL rookie, he played his best game. You can't argue with me that he could have played and we still lost. We still lost because we don't have enough playmakers. We don't have enough playmakers on this team to go deep, to maintain a lead. You know, offense and defensively, you know, special teams have been doing some good things and some bad things. You know, you have the kickoff return in the Packer game. Then you have missed extra points, blocked punts. We're a roller coaster, you know. We, we got shit going on that's good. We get some good, badass stuff happening. And then we have some... You know, poorly mistakes happening block punts you know extra points missed a lot of stuff comes into play when winning and losing a game you know I'm gonna begin where I basically left off um, Carson started the Packer game and ended up getting benched in the third do I have a problem with that? No, I, I really don't. We were down twenty to three. Why not? Why not try Jalen Hurts out? You know, if we would have pulled out that win, I probably still would have. You know, thought Carson would have started the next week. But really, you know, to try to come back, and then to allow a seventy-some yard run to lose the game. You know what can you do? Jalen had an opportunity to win that game, but came up short. You know, we had a kickoff return. We had some good things going. Uh, you know, he threw a touchdown pass, but honestly, uh, to salvage the season, I mean, I'm not even looking forward to salvaging anything. I just want to get Jalen his time. Sit wins down because I'm not going to have that man hurt. You know, I, I still think Carson Wins is a phenomenal starter. I don't care what anybody has to say. If it was, if I was coaching the team, Carson Wins would be the starter. But would I be starting him, you know, for these few games? No. Why? Because he's already been sacked 50 times. Not to mention how much times he's been knocked down, which is probably more times. You know, I'm not even going to mention his interceptions because we, we, like I said, we do not have playmakers. We have some guys that are playmakers and then we have some guys that are, they, they make plays and then they just drop big plays, big plays, big drops all year long. That's all we, we've been talked about. That's what our team has been about. Big plays and big drops. You know, kickoff return, block punts. We're up and down. We do both. We we have a success on one drive, 
and then we just screw up defensively on another drive or special teams on the other drive. Or on another drive, we throw an interception. We can't be phenomenal on one either side of the ball, special teams, offense, or defense. So now let's talk about the Saints and, and, and Eagles game. Well, Jaden got his first start. You know, he played an, uh, an awesome game. And we were up 17 uh, 0. But we've been there before. What happened in week one? We were up 17 what, three? And we, we they came back and we lost. What, what was going to happen in the Saints game? It was a 21 to 24 win. They almost came back and beat us. We were up 17 0. What happened to the offense? You know, y'all guys don't talk about Jay Nurse that way, though, right? Okay, so let's move on to the Cardinal game. Um, extra points missed. Block punts that costed touchdowns. Uh, they, they, they got to a 16-0 lead early. You know, the defense is just the, the secondary needs a whole lot of still needs a whole lot of work. We need to work on the, on the we need an operation on the secondary on the offseason. That's how much work we need. Surgery on that back end defensively. You know? And Jim Schwartz better do a good job because we need work back there. We're not having any success. I don't know how much opponents we have allowed this year. This year. To score 30 points. I don't know how much opponents. And how much opponents we've only allowed nine. I think we only have like two games. Or one game. That we only allowed nine points. And that was against Dallas. Against a third string quarterback. I mean. And then. Like. We had a chance in that Cardinal game. And obviously, you know, we came up short. We we, sh we needed to win that game too. That that game and the Packer game we were need wins. You know, we could have lost the Saints game, but we ended up winning it. You know, and then Seattle, that's it. That's another game, you know. We 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 lost, but you know what? The Carson didn't play that bad in that game. It was a 16 or 17 to 23 game. You know, and and it comes down to if you the defense needs to play fire, and I'm talking about secondary. Special teams need to be on point. You know, there's again, like I said before, there's a lot of things that comes into play when winning and losing a game. And and honestly, um, we're at a point right now in the season. Where we need Washington to lose. We need to beat Dallas. We need Giants to at least lose one of their games. And then we need to beat the Redskins. We need all four of those things to happen. For us to go to the, the playoffs. And then you guys want to go with, with, with Jaden Hurts. Like, look, it, it'd be fun to get this guy some playoff experience. But please, let's not crush his confidence by going into the playoffs and losing 40 to 7 or 40 to 16 or 40 to 20. You know, it, there's just no point in for us going to the playoffs. There really isn't. We don't have the team to win it all. You know, if we run into the Chiefs or if we run into the Steelers again, who happen to be struggling, are we going to win? Uh, do you like our chances winning against those teams? I mean, because I sure as hell don't. We can't even beat the Cardinals. You know, we, we can't beat them. What makes you think we'll beat the Bills or we'll beat, you know, the Packers or, wh or you, whoever else we face in the playoffs? We ain't got no chance if we go. We ain't got no chance whether we have a home game or we don't have a home game. We ain't got no chance. And even if we go and then we somehow win, I, what do you think? We're going to win, win, win. We got four wins to get to the Super Bowl. We got to win the wild card. Then we got to win second round. 
Then we got to win the NFC Championship. Then we got to win the Super Bowl. That's four wins. Not to mention two more wins we need to win it all. We need to win six games in a row. We haven't even won three all year long. Three games in a row. We haven't won. So, I mean, like, let's hope other scenarios eliminate us this week, you know, so we could just focus on draft, you know, offseason, free agents, because that's what this team really needs to focus on. And we need to get some, we get wins protection because we need wins to be our starter next year. We need him to be our starter. I don't care what anyone says, like, well, Jalen Nurse is better. Look, we can't waste Jalen Nurse now. We need him as backup. We need a backup for wins. You know, if wins gets in the head or if something happens to wins, you know what? We got that guy. Who do we got backing up Jaden Nurts? Nate Sheffield? You know what I mean? Like, Nate, Nate's not that, he's not that great. You know, I, I, don't, I don't like Ertz in there because we don't got a third string. You know, yeah, we'll have wins backing him up. But really, we need to start wins. Because this guy has a contract to play starter. He's won four games to get to the playoffs. You know, like, this guy has potential to win it all. You know, you know Jalen Hurts, he's learning. Because look at these two games. I'm not going to say the Packers game because he didn't start that game. But he did start these last two games. He started against the Saints and won. And then he lost against the Cardinals. He, he's not on a winning streak right now. He's a one-in-one -one quarterback. He's a one-in-one -one quarterback. Well, what is our guy? What was he, 3-8? and eight? Well, I'm going to say 3-7 and seven because, you know, Jay didn't finish that game. He was three and seven this year. No protection, no playmakers, um, no help on some some of the games. He wasn't he wasn't helping himself by giving away takeaways, and defense was not helping us at all by allowing our opponent to score more than thirty in like three four games. I think five games. You know it's it's simple, man. It's simple. We fill in positions that we need. You know, because one guy is not going to do it for you. You saw it in the Cardinal game. One guy played phenomenal and lost. It's not all about him. You know, you guys, well, we, we, wins needs to sin. You sat him. He won a game and they lost the game. He's 1-1. One one. He's a 500 quarterback. You know. I mean, I just think we need to work with what we have on the table. We got a, a con max contract for this guy, Wins. I believe in him. I'm a Wins fan. I got two Wins jerseys. I believe in Carson Wins. I think Carson's our guy and Jalen's our guy backup. Now, if he wants to be a starter, fine. You know what? We'll work a deal. We'll get him to... I think we trade Jaden. And get him somewhere where he could start. If if that's what he really wants. Because honestly, I I think we stick with Carson Wentz. I think we, st we have to stick with Carson. We're paying this guy a lot of money. Dead money. You know, the money we can't get out of. If you really think about it. He's not going to give us that money back. Plus, you know, we, we didn't, as an organization of the Eagles, they didn't really help him out. These past two seasons, dude, they have not done anything for Carson. No defense additions. As a matter of fact, we lost guys and promoted guys we already had. You know, we, we got to do a better job, man. We got to do a better job in the offseason and drafts as an organization. They have to do a better job.